by what measure are we measuring other martial artists based on our own experience oftentimes even based on our own martial arts whatever the discipline is that we study let's say you study Hungar Kung Fu Tai Chi one of the five schools of Tai Chi Bagua Zhang Zingyi, Taekwondo, Tong Sudo, Hapkido, Judo, some form of Jiu Jitsu, Kupsawan, Pancration, Shoot Wrestling, Muay Thai, Jindo, Jikundo, Krav Maga, whatever the system is or the style of martial arts that you study, how do you judge other martial arts systems and styles according to your own? I would think that would be a bit unfair. Reasoning being, however similar arts might be, does not necessarily make them the same as far as the methodology goes. You see, you can't compare karate with Aikido. The whole methodology is different. And you can't compare Aikido to Tai Chi. Totally different animals. You can't compare Muay Thai with Judo. Two totally different animals. But what has happened, ladies and gentlemen, is that you have some men and primarily, or some martial artists, who are primarily karatekas, who study karate. They want to compare various other systems of martial arts and styles to their own as if it is the measuring stick for all arts and that's not fair at all so what is the point that I'm getting at it is this when we study and train in our own respective art oftentimes people want to try to place you or us in a category so that they can find us. Anytime you are independent or an individual and you're doing something that's seemingly different than what they are doing, all of a sudden it's invalid. It's ridiculous. It's not practical because it's not their art. You can't do that. This was one of the problems that Bruce Lee had coming up along with many others to even include myself. The fact that as some of us have come up, we have studied several of the disciplines as far as martial arts is concerned. And then we have synthesized them and we have even removed some things that were not practical or useful for us. And you have some people who were staunch traditionalists that frowned upon that and called that not real martial arts because we borrowed a little bit and we took away a little bit from what we have trained and studied in. Because these karateka, many of them only held true to just their specific art and nothing else. They had a prejudice or a bias. So it was Shotokan only. It was Goju-ru only. It was Weishin-ru or Washin-ru only. Or it was Chito-ru or Shito-ru only. Or it was Taekwondo or Tom Sudo only. And if you did a multiple of things or arts, all of a sudden you lost your mind. All of a sudden you were defacing the principles that made martial arts what it was. If that was the case, then why is Bruce Lee still the most relevant martial artist of the 21st century? Because that's exactly what he did. He created Jeet Kune Do actually for himself. 
and not to pat myself on the back, but my system of gin and dough was created for me as an individual and also for all of those individuals who have been denied relevancy, if you will, in other specific arts. For example, there are some people that have been turned down because they were too weight, excuse me, they were too heavy, too tall, too short, and they didn't measure up in certain arts. For example, let's say you had a problem with your knees and you joined the Taekwondo school. Do you think the Taekwondo teacher is going to really embrace you and you really can't kick? I mean, that's the whole program for the most part. Now, what if you were a really, really tall individual and you joined an Aikido school and your instructors were five foot four, five foot seven, and you were six foot nine? It would be pretty much of a challenge for them to teach you. Do you see where I'm going? So therein lies the rub. There's where you find the instructor who has all of these other disciplines under his or her belt and they can treat you as an individual and say, well, if you don't do good kicking, let's strengthen this part of your regimen. If you're not good at striking and throwing and maybe grappling, let's strengthen your kicking. You get what I'm saying? So no other martial arts instructor has a right to prejudge you based on their own art. So it's important that every martial arts master or instructor study the other arts so that they can have a complete and a true respect for all arts and not just their own. That's it, and that's all. This is Brother Teacher. I'm out.